Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in the studio today. Sorry for a few little technical hiccups there, but hopefully you can see me well, you can hear me well, and I'm nice and loud and clear. Fingers crossed. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Tony Direct, as probably most of you will already know. And this is a lovely place to come and get some inspiration in the crafty world. So whether that be with me, with some other fabulous guests, or whether it be die cutting, stamping, watercolouring, anything you like really. But it is absolutely the place to come and get some inspiration with all of the lovely crafty techniques. Now, did you all see that little thing pop across the screen, across the bottom? HTCN, okay? How to craft network. And I've seen that a lot of you have been thinking, what's going on? You've changed your name. We're getting a bit posh. We are getting very posh. But basically, uh, what we're going to do moving forward is we're going to sort of like, I wouldn't say, what's the posh word for it? We're going to basically be collaborating with lots of other lovely um, companies, guests, familiar faces you will know. And they're, all their faces are going to be right here in this studi studio, giving you guys at home inspiration. Absolutely free. Okay, so if you're thinking, well, wh where did that come from? Well, you know, moving forward, this is the place absolutely to be to get the inspiration and keep you motivated, basically. So what we're doing, and we have already been doing for really three years, is going to stand here and inspire you in some way or another and we're going to get more people to come and do some demonstrations so if you've got anybody who you would like to see live in the stamps by me studio please let us know and um, i will see what i can do for you and it's a channel where it's going to show you how to craft if you've never crafted before there might be just a few techniques that you may be not sure of and you want a little bit of help with them and maybe i can help you simon carly claire there's just so many people that are going to be in this studio here to help you at home all for free it's really important to me that you have um, somewhere to go an outlet or somewhere to go and get that extra inspiration for your card making we spend a lot of money on our card making or, or our artwork or whatever it may be so I want you to be able to get the encouragement if you've lost your mojo and things like that to go somewhere and let somebody basically lift you back up and get you going again and I need it as well myself so that's why it won't always be me it will be other lovely faces too and some of the faces and brands that I actually look up to myself because albeit I, yeah it's my company and I stand here and I sell my products I do have a few favorite people that inspire me and I do have some companies that you know I absolutely adore their products I am just like you I am a crafter at the end of the day is that okay is everybody happy with that it's that is super exciting news when I do have a little bit more information about it, I will let you all know moving forwards, okay? If you are a subscriber to the channel, you do not need to uh, resubscribe. Everything exactly the same. You'll still see the little um, Stamps By Me logo on there as well. We've just put it in there so that if anybody is searching or looking for that inspiration on how to craft, we are easier to find, which is incredible. So everybody's happy. Yes, we're all happy. So let's say hello to some of our lovely friends. So, hi Roseanne, I hope you got my message, sweetheart. Marilyn, Julie, Carol, Avril. Sounds fantastic, Kathy Taylor saying. Hi Kathy. Michaela, hi sweetheart. Brian. Oh, it's coming up too fast. There's so many of you on today. So, we're back in a complete lockdown. So, what does that mean for us here at Stamps By Me? It means a lot of things. Um, we spent most of the day, you know, um, putting structures in place, moving forwards for however long it's going to be. And just a couple of things to let you know about. Um, some things that are obviously out of our control, i.e. we're back to what we were before, where we have only have limited staff in the building, which means things might take a little bit longer to get round to dealing with, i.e. any emails, um, calls, deliveries and things like that. Royal Mail have been really inundated, haven't they? So these things are going to take a little bit normal but it is business as normal and we will work um, relentlessly hard to make sure we deliver still uh, a fabulous service if allowed okay but just please be mindful that we only have limited people in our building a lot of people are working from home now again which was truly difficult last time and um, we worked really really hard so I, I i know what's coming this time which nerves me a little bit <laughs> 
but yeah we know what's coming this time so we've put a few things in place and changed and learnt from last time but hopefully we'll still be able to deliver on everything we say we will thirdly is everybody okay before i say the third any everybody's okay everybody seems to be quite positive today which is really really good and that, i do appreciate that because sometimes i need that kick up that bum to make me be positive i'm not positive all the time trust me i do try my best i always have a smile on my face though so the other um thing that i wanted to tell you about was now it's absolutely left my mind completely left my mind but be assured that we're going to put lots of things in place to keep you entertained, to keep your mojo going. I know a lot of you have been in isolation since March, things like that, but we're going to do everything we can. We've already put things in place this morning for in a few weeks' time to um, keep us all uh, absolutely busy. So today I'm going to just do a bit of freehand painting and show you some of the things that I do and where I started just by picking up that brush. I hope that's okay. So if you are thinking, do you know what, I really do want to have a go, but I'm not sure what brushes, do I need posh paints, do I need proper card, things like that. I'm just going to talk you through it um, quite simply today for a short period of time. And hopefully if you're thinking about it, you will try it. Okay, we are getting all posh now. Can you see that was my little head above, <laughs> above that comment. So yes, we are professionalising everything we do. We want to make it a better channel for you at home. We are currently um, upgrading our website too. And these things take time, they take lots of money and they take um, a lot of creativity to move over and a lot of patience. So please be patient. Okay, we've got a subscribe button. If you haven't already become a subscriber, click subscribe. It's chopping my head off. <laughs> so anyway, so at least we're all smiling. Again, please stay connected if you are um, separated from loved ones at home. I know a lot of us have missed birthdays, mums, dads, Christmas. Stay connected, whether it's just asking a silly question on the Eureka fan page or speaking to somebody personally, just try and stay connected because that connectivity is what's going to keep us all together because there's nothing the worse when you message somebody and they don't reply. Um, so if you do get a little message off somebody you're not quite sure, make sure obviously um, that person is genuine because we get a lot of that too, but just stay connected with your friends, okay? Please stay, even if it's not with people on Facebook, message me, okay? Let's, let's go. Um, let's have a look at some of the comments. So I did want to spend a little bit of time with you all today, um, really just talking because I think we've got a little bit of a tough time ahead of us and I think it's going to be a little bit more harder than last time. But we will survive, you know, we have our homes, we have the comfort of our homes, we might be on our own, but we can implement things and put things in place to um, make those days not so long. So... Um, it's been so Avril's put it's been a tough year indoors stuck in but Tony and SBM family have all kept me going with the company and inspiration well Avril that's what we intend on doing but we intend on really doing it this time last time yes I tried to do live every single day and I think we succeeded on 80% of it um, which is incredible really when I was up and down to TV like I was um, but we do strive to be better this time and be there more for you at home even if it's just for half an hour half an hour seeing somebody else's face not sure about this one but seeing somebody else's face sometimes helps doesn't it and um you know moving f i said we had loads of new products for 2021 we do we have some incredible products some products that are getting launched here in studio on their own and not going to tv uh, well, maybe not going to TV, but getting launched here first. We've got some launches on TV. I've told you all about our creative box. I called it a subscription box, but you don't have to subscribe, so it was a bit silly. But a creative box where we can all show our makes and, you know, care and share for one another. Yep, 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 yep. So as long as we're all okay. I do actually, I know it sounds really crazy, but I get a little bit of a frog in my throat when I talk about it, just simply because. I think it's because we know what's coming because we've just been through it, haven't we? So it's really difficult to think, oh, do you know what, we will get through it. And we will get through it, but because we've been through it and we knew how difficult it was, it's really difficult to keep that positive energy and you know move forward and strive to look after one another but we will do it we will absolutely do it 
we know what's coming and maybe we can change a couple of things that we did last time and improve them and make them better for this time moving forward. So please don't be um, sat at home thinking you're on your own, you're not. You've got me, if nothing else. And I can talk, as you can see. So if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe to our channel because moving forwards, we're going to have lots and lots of people in here and you will miss all of the uh, notifications and things like that. If, because obviously staff are working from home and things like that now, I would probably say to you that please take it as a given that when I'm live in studio, it's at three o'clock. If you don't get the email, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm not here live, okay? Just take it as a given that I am going to be here and if I'm not, I will pop a message and I will get my design team to let you all know that I'm not going to be here. So just take it as a given, okay? Because last time communication went a little bit messy. But this time, just take it as a given that I'm going to be here at three o'clock. On Thursday, I am going to be doing a Thirsty Brush show. Obviously, Claire can't um, get her videos to us, unfortunately, because there's no staff. Um, so I'm going to be here doing Thirsty Brush products. So if you want to share that on Thursday, again, three o'clock, um, I will be covering for her too. So I'm going to put a little cross on the floor here. And this is where I need to be every day for three o'clock, if I can. If I can, I will be. Bearing in mind, I have homeschooling now as well, Oof, which is not great. It's not great. So, Kirsty Michelle saying, Tony, what is the creative box? So basically, I was thinking about doing like a monthly box where in the box was sort of like a variety of products, but not, it sounds really bad to say this because um, it sort of looks like I'm talking about other brands' products, not a box where there's just loads of stuff in there that you won't use. Products in there that work are going to work together. So I wanted to put the creative box together where you get maybe a sample of a stencil that's going to work with the stamp, that's going to work with the dye, and you'll have some coordinating gems and things like that. And that's coming really, really soon. So, and then what we can do is we can share our makes on our Eureka fan page and do swapsies and things like that to keep us all busy. So I hope that helps. And it's going to be really affordable as well. It really is. And the box is quite pretty too, so you can decorate the box. Ooh. So um, I'm just getting a few messages come up because I've got so much to tell you about because yesterday we were all sat, weren't we, waiting for the announcement. Really nervous, absolutely. So let's have a look. Anne Hodgkinson, question, question. What were the two circles about? Oh, Anne, good question. They were, oh, I can't tell you yet. They were some designs for Christmas. Christmas designs, I know. I will show you when they are painted up. <laughs> Uh, box sounds interesting yep and again it's not um it's not a subscription you don't have to subscribe to it if you like it you can buy it if you don't you can use other products in your stash you can still interact still show your mates with whatever you're using it's the involvement that really matters like avril cracking on best that she can inspiration keeps pushing okay we'll keep doing it we'll keep doing it so what we're also going to do is we're going to bring guests in um, remotely as well. So I will be in here and on here will be a lovely guest showing you or talking to you. We could do maybe some question and answer shows as well where you can have a chat with some lovely other guests. They uh, might bully me though, don't you think? We'll see about that one. But yes, definitely we'll be remotely, definitely Carly. She doesn't know it yet, but Carly's going to be on that screen. So that's good, isn't it? So, oh, and Barbara O'Reilly, are you announcing a new club? Yes, we are. We will be announcing a new club, which basically, I can't go into um, full details because it's not fully secure and I don't want to tell you anything, any false information. But yes, we are updating our club where um, you'll be able to become a club member and get benefits even way benefits than what you're getting now and I know you already get a lot of good benefits. Wow, <laughs> are we going to get some painting done today or what? <laughs> um, so question, question, will the box be all SBM products? Yes, for the time being it will be my products, I hope that's okay. Um, but we are looking at maybe if you are a, a follower of Claire, or a follower of Imala. I've also asked tho those um, lovely ladies if they want to interact, to get involved, do they want to create something? So I'm working on doing a variation of them. Simon's definitely up for it. I spoke to Simon yesterday, as you all know, he was here. Tony, will you be? <laughs> well, 
let's just have a cup of tea and then I'll just answer some more. I should have got a chair, shouldn't I? We should have had a question and answer. My son says to me today that I've got mum hair because it's got a, a grip in, he calls it mum hair. You know, like it's just been flicked up because I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, Tom. We've got mum hair today, mum. Um, Roxy Lee, question, question. Will the club price increase? I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to offer benefits for everybody we have a lot of USA following now as well so there'll be some dedicated to the USA there'll be some um, basic uh, stamp club member ones as well so you can probably take it as a given that the one we're offering now will still be available I think it's the 10 pounds isn't it or something like that so you can take it as a given that one will stand, but we're offering some that have got more benefits like unlimited delivery and things like that. We haven't got anything um, solid yet because, you know, everything's just up in arms and you get one thing and then it sort of like retracts in the other hand. So, but there'll be benefits in different ones and you can choose the one that's going to fit you as a crafter. If you are an avid follower and you order relentless, then there are options for free delivery throughout six months, 12 months and things like that. So it's just improving it a little bit uh, and it depends which one's going to suit you. So I hope that answers your question, Roxy Lee. So hello, everybody. Everybody's all right now. Have I answered everybody's question? You see, the, the thing with our lovely club is you get access already to quite a lot. Um, I'm quite proud of our stamp club. It's £10 for the year, or it was £10 for the year. Free downloads, um, you know, you had access to all of the classes. I'm here pretty much every single day. You get the 10% off. We do our club prices, which give you two or three pounds off per product. So you get your £10 back within a couple of weeks. Um, so to make it any better is difficult. But it's not about making it any better, it's about improving. So, i.e. delivery times, delivery slots, Royal Mail, signed for, DPD, and things like that. They're the sort of improvements that I want to improve. I don't want to really improve anything else because everything else that we do is really, really good. Sue Donnell, question, question. How often will you do the boxes? Um, I was looking at maybe doing one once a month, but again, it's going to be really difficult to stand here um, every single day and, you know, just bring out new products all of the time. I can't, it's just not, it's just not achievable, unfortunately. So we say in once a month, but it might be once, a, once every two months, once every three months. It all absolutely depends on the circumstances, what's going on outside this little room, unfortunately. So I don't want to commit to any... I don't like giving you information and saying this is set in stone because nothing can ever be set in stone, particularly with what's going on at the moment. So we have to remain fluid. I can give you as much information as I can, but I can't promise. OK, so we aim for once a month. We aim and they are all really different. So if you're thinking, do you know, I might try one this month. I might not try the next one. It's not me or. So you can hit one, miss one, just get one for the year if you want to. I know a lot of you did get vouchers for Christmas as well, so they're going to be really coming to their own, really, when you get the vouchers to get these sort of products. How do we know when to renew our membership? Well, that falls into our new website. You will get a notification. Our website is amazing. We spent a lot of money on our website. Um, you know, people recognise it now. But we do have to move forwards. It's a little bit old, you know, and things don't quite work in the fashion that we'd like them to, i.e. notifications when your membership's going to run out and would you like to renew it and things like that. So that's all going to come with our new website, which we're currently working on. Sarah Burr, question, question. Where is the first, when is the first one available, please? I'm hoping by the end of this month. I'm hoping by the end of this month, um, the design team have had them and are working on them for me. So it all depends again on timing, samples, products and things like that. So I'm hoping by the end of the month, Sarah. Don't forget that I'm going to be here nearly every day at three o'clock. Come and get that inspiration. Tell your friends, share it on Facebook, you know, you know, how to craft network, a bit posh, how to craft network. You can share the YouTube channel in any groups if you want to. I mean, obviously, don't put it in a group that's going to go crazy for sharing or promoting another brand because some are like that. I understand that. But if you've got friends who are crafters who allow that sort of um, 
thing to happen, you know, to inspire and get people to watch, then, you know, please do it, but please don't get in trouble in the same hand. So, right, okay. I think that's, is that okay for the question and answers? Can we, um, can we craft? I just wanted to go through a couple of things really, really quickly today because I am actually back with you anyway tomorrow at three o'clock. And you all remember the schedule that I told you about on our last last um, studio with regards to what we're going to be doing. So we've got Tag Art Tuesdays, which we're going to be moving into hopefully next week. It does say Tag Art. It doesn't mean we're just going to use a tag. We're going to create cards that are tag shapes. We're going to do watercolour tags. We're going to do cards with tags on them, albums with tags in them, painted, things like that. Then we have Watercolour Wednesday, which is going to be either watercolour in background, techniques, stamping, resist techniques with all of our lovely like mediums and things. Claire will be back with you on the Thursday and then on the Friday we've called it Freedom Friday where I will dip my toe into any of the products where people have maybe not quite catched it or said can you just help us out here I'm not quite understanding it and a couple of examples of that are Soulful Collection a lot of you have got it now you've persevered with it and are doing incredible and then the invisible ink pads as well. Some of you are like, I don't even show my mate because it's that bad. But um, as soon as you do get it, then that's when you start to show your mate. So I'm just going to be here to encourage Freedom Friday. It's more about the encouragement, you know, as the products that you're not quite getting on with. You know, not because they're bad, it's just you as a crafter and you just need a little bit of encouragement to show you that, you know, it is really okay not to be okay. Let's have a look. Right, okay. So let's do a little bit of talk through. So as you can see, what I've done is I've popped a couple of pieces of work that I've done just personally freehand, but you'll also can see as well. Oh no, you can't, I can't see, I haven't put them up. It's okay to watercolour on stamps, okay? Don't think that you're not an artist just because you're watercolouring on stamps. I would hate for anybody to think that they're not absolutely good enough just because they're using stamps. It's the encouragement to pick up the brush. But what happens if you do want to step away from traditional stamping and things like that and you're thinking, do you know what, I might actually give this a go, I might actually be good at it. And I know a lot of you have been because there is a few of people of now who have actually been doing freehand work. Now, I would encourage you to pick up a brush and paint a flower and see how you get on. Let me have a look what it looks like. Some of you might say it looks like sick. I've seen it. You've all put it on the Eureka fan page. It looks like a pile of sick. Absolutely not. I'm quite pleased with this one. I'm not sure about this one. Post it. Let's see where you're at. We maybe the design team can help you out. I can help you out. And it's just that push and that little bit of, you know, help and guidance to, you know, maybe overcome that. Yeah, I'm just not good enough. Okay, because you are good enough. And I had to start somewhere. And I'm not amazing. I just play. I really do play. And I think the playing is where you learn. So, it's so exciting about our channel. You're absolutely right. So, how to craft network. Tell all your friends how to craft network. Stamps by me. Still stamps by me. It's still me. You're still going to get me. You're not going to get a posh presenter. Could you imagine if you turned on one day and there'd be a posh present? I, I can be posh. I can put a posh frock on sometimes, you know. So. <laughs> okay, Carol Clark, question. I need help with using the acrylic bottles that were in my Christmas gift. Oh, the paints. Did, was it the metallic paints, Carol? Yeah, the metallic paints. Will it be? So you can watercolour with those, sweetheart. Pop some on your mat dilute it down with the brushes and paint with them freehand if you want to. In fact, this one here, let me just show you. I'm just going to grab a sample if that's okay, just one second. This one is actually using the gold watered down to create, I mean this is nothing fancy, I'll hold it up, it's better. But it, I diluted down the metallics that are in the gold if you got if you got a gold in your box. And I just popped a little piece on my mat, watercolour, diluted it down with a brush. Can you see that there? And then just painted a couple of freehand. They actually were blobs, and I've just connected them with the black lines, okay? So you can dilute them down in this sense. You can paint MDF with them. They're thick enough for that. You can pop them onto the top of your gesso if you want to. You can dry brush them onto your projects as well. There's really quite a lot you can do with them, to be fair. Okay, 
So let's start out. So I just wanted to tell you basically that when you're starting out, you don't need all of the posh stuff. So if you can just look at my hands here, I have a handful of brushes that I've just gathered over time. So you'll know I love the Himi, Himi brushes anyway. That's an absolute given for me. But I would say if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to start and I'm going to play, don't go out and buy lots of expensive brushes. You really don't need it. I would always suggest a size four, which is probably this one. Is this one? Yeah, a size four, and this is going to be predominantly most of your work. And then maybe an eight if you want to do washers, uh, a 12 if you want to do backgrounds, and then maybe a thin one for like leaves and sticks and trees and things like that. Don't go out and buy all of the posh brushes, not until you absolutely know it's something you want to do and you're going to love. So these are a little collection of brushes that I probably would say will work 80% of the time, whether it be on cards, freehand. Okay, what's next? Have we got some watercolours? You don't need expensive watercolours, okay? So I have this one, white, it's a given. It's like a gouache, it's thick, it can be diluted down, perfect for splats, perfect for painting white flowers onto black cardstock, things like that. If you don't have this, you might have a gouache. Um, your white watercolours will not work on black card, they'll just disperse and disappear into nothing. You need something that's more substantial, okay? So. A white one, a good white one. I use several watercolours at the moment, so you will know I use my Himmies, which are a disgrace, and I do apologise. And I have my semi-moist pad as well. Okay, pretty inexpensive, but really, really good quality. Okay. So let's just set that aside. So if you are thinking, I am going to give it a go, I would like to see my progress, I want to see how I've grown as a painter, a sketcher, a colourist, I would suggest get a book. Now I have the books, which are these um, Secura ones, um, they are available on the website, but if you have a, just an everyday sketchbook or a watercolour book, um, use those, they will work. Okay, so you're just looking for a book that's got pages in there to sketch, white or cream this is a cream one that i use and then i've got this black one here where i can sketch with my gel pen okay so get yourself a book and then you can see your progression if they're on scrappy pieces of paper they get lost they get put in a pile you flick through your book and you'll be able to see your progress okay so get a good book if if budget allows you to get a good book so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you very very quickly picking that brush up and how impressed you might be if you've never watercolored before or if you're thinking, do you know what, I do a lot of watercolouring, but it's always with stamps. I really would like to try and maybe get um, some results freehand. So I have a piece of normal cardstock, sorry, black cardstock. And I have a piece of watercolour card here. Again, watercolour card ranges in price, okay? I would probably say if you're wanting like a grainy result, get a cold pressed, which means it hasn't been ironed, okay? It's a lumpy bumpy. If it's smooth, it means it's been ironed. Okay, hot press, cold press, if you always remember that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some white flowers onto here freehand and show you how you can get some cracking results by just picking up that brush. And then I'm going to paint some coloured ones. We're using my everyday watercolours onto here. So let's fire away. I'm only going to be a couple of minutes, but what I would encourage you to do is later this afternoon, if you've got time or maybe tomorrow, paint some freehand flowers and pop it on the Eureka fan page and let's see what you've been up to. So I'm going to do the white ones first, so I'm just going to spray, get this a little bit moist because it's hard, there are, this is a hard pan, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use what size brush is this one? So this is an 8, so I'm just going to mix up some of this lovely white, get it going, lovely and creamy, it's lovely to watch. <laughs> So we do the books on our website, but you know, if um, there are obviously loads of books, sketchbooks, watercolour books, black books um, as well. So you might have one in your stash that somebody's bought you as a gift as well. So all I'm going to do, I've just got this lovely white mixed here, I could sit and watch it all day. If you just put books into website, there are a few there, there isn't a lot mind. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some of this white down in blobs like so and I'm just creating a little circle 
So this is a very, very, very easy technique, okay? You'll find a lot of beginner artists start out with this and then they move into a wet in wet technique and things like that. So I stand here like that sounds like I know what I'm talking about. I, d I haven't been to any classes or anything like that, but I have done, um, I follow a lot of people on YouTube, on Instagram, and uh, you know I learn so much from other people and I do encourage you to do the same. If you are thinking, do you know what? I'd really like to have a go with that. Go into YouTube, put watercolouring in, techniques and things like that, and you'll see all of the other techniques. Okay, so I've just popped those blobs down there. Can we see that there? So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean my brush, totally clean my brush, and I'm just going to have my brush loaded with water. I'll just bring that into shot here. Just cleaning my brush here. I'm just going to have my brush loaded with some water. Can we see that there? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with that spot and I'm just going to drag it out. See that there? Clean my brush again. So basically, just dragging that colour out there. Now there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can start at the tip and move in so the water connects with the colour or you can do it this way. I'm going to do it both ways for you. So out and it all depends on what brush you're using as well. If you're using a fatter brush, you're going to get fatter petals. Let's have a look at this in I have four fod. So I'm just going to let that dry. Now let's just do a little one here too. So I'm just take all of that water out of my brush. I'm just going to pick up some of that pure white again. And I'm going to do the same. Let's just get another piece of card very quickly. I'm running out of time now. I, that's because I've been having loads of questions. But it's okay, I guess. So let's just pop some of those, this lovely white solid ink in there. And I clean my brush. And then what you do this time is you take the clean, clear water from the outside and pull it into the pigment. So, just get my brush loaded with some water. And then this time I'm going to go out. Did you see what happened there? Just clean my brush. So, loaded with the water, take it out and pull it in and connect with that spot. Can you see that there? And you'll see how different the techniques are just from um, doing it two different ways. So sometimes you're thinking, I'm crap, I'm absolutely rubbish at this, but you know what? It's maybe the technique that's not agreeing with you. So let's do this one. See how the water, that white goes in? Um, Claire on her page as well, she's done this technique fabulously. As well, she's done a like, um, I think it's a peony. So go and check out that page as well, because she does this incredibly well with this actual same ink. Can you see there? So let's just pop another blob of white in here. Maybe a bit more. And what you've got to do is you've got to let each one dry and then you can go over the top. So clean, clear water. Can you see that there? So let's let that dry. Let's just come back to this one. Let me just dry this one off. This one. If you can let them air dry, please do. It is really therapeutic to watch. And Watercolour Wednesdays, yes, we will absolutely be colouring stamps. We will be doing lots of techniques. But every now and then, I will be throwing in this sort of um, technique to try and make you step away from stamps are not cheats by any means. 
but um, you know step away from using our stamps as well because honestly the experience you gain from actually just playing loosely like this it does transfer into what you do with your stamps as well so I'm just going to let that one dry itself so stay tuned though because I have got the results of our lovely giveaway from the other day as well and I have got a little giveaway today and I'll show you in a second. So let me just go back to this one then. So you can see there we've just got like a little bit of a spiral flower going on here. So I'm just going to do exactly the same. I'm going to take up some of that lovely white. I'm just going to spot in between this time. Get lots of ink on there though. So in the, in the gaps. like so and then I'm just going to clean my brush so on this one we did pulling out the colour didn't we so I've just wet my brush with some water and I'm just going to touch it with my brush and pull it out with the wet brush So basically I'm just putting that pressure on in the centre and then pulling it out to a tip. Can you see that there? So let's go back to this one. Never leave your brush in water because the water works its way up your, up, here, up your hairs and into the barrel and it rots. The water doesn't actually dry out properly in this uh, barrel part here. So never leave it sat in the water. Always take it out of the water and let it air dry. So I'm just getting up most of the water out there, get some of that lovely, lovely white. So I'm just popping a spot here. Hopefully it's dry enough for us to do it. So in the spaces. It's still a bit wet, but it's okay. And then this time we will go from the outside of the flower and bring the water in to connect. So let's just go here. And for this one, you really need to, you really do need to clean that brush between each one. Now I'm doing this in white here. You could absolutely do it in colour. And if the colour's gone a little bit hard like that, just push it out, tease it out. So you can see already how, diff how different those two different flowers look. Now what about freehand leaves? Yeah, everybody's okay. So I'm just going to show you how I do some very, very simple leaves too. So white onto black. So to do a leave, you just basically start with the tip of your brush push it flat and then lift it back to the tip so a sort of what action would that be like a a stroke as if you're stroking so tip stroke and pull up to a tip so let's just show you that here that's got a lot of color on there so basically tip press down and back to a tip you see that there do it here again so tip press down see that there really really simple so point press down so just one other one I want so I'm not going to overwhelm you with all different sort of um, textures and shapes and things like that so I mean I'm doing it white onto black if you don't have white you can use your colours on normal watercolour card so to do a circular one all I'm going to do is go round to a point like so and then round and then you can take that out if you want to see that there so I'll just show you that one more time I haven't got a lot of colour on my brush here so 
round to a point and round. Can you see that there? Let's do one here. Obviously let yours dry, this is running around like it's going out of fashion, but and you can see the less paint you have on your brush, more ghost-like it looks. See that? It's running around. Chasing that colour, let's push that up there. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. So you, you can do exactly the same with um, colour on watercolour cardstock as well. So that's just white. And this one's a size 8 brush. You will get different results with different sized brushes. It's not necessarily, if you can't quite get it, it might be the size of brush that you're using. I would always say maybe go for a 4, 8 and a 12 if you are going to have a play. So let me have a look at your makes later today or maybe tomorrow. I'm sorry I'm not here to do much more than just paint a couple of petals or a couple of leaves. The point of today was to make sure everybody was okay. Uh, I didn't really feel in the mood, if I'm completely honest, to try and sell products today. It was not so not about that today. I wanted to just make sure, not that it is every day actually, because we do come here, yes we have to sell our products, yes I have a company, but most of the time it's more about the inspiration and everybody's welfare and today is more than anything I think we just needed to check in because um, you know some people are still at home on their own. So, so stay safe, stay connected, I'm back with you tomorrow at 3 o'clock and we will actually do some physical craft using products as well and some from our earlier products as well so we can dig them out and have a play with us. Sorry about all the fancy stuff but we're all still learning and we're going to be going into 2021 20, with lots of new goodies and lots of new ideas. So I will see you all tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Take care everyone. Bye.